I was born with lacrosse stick in my hand. I started playing when I was three. I played on the team with six-year-olds, so the shorts weren't big enough for me. So as we were doing our warm-up lap, my shorts fell down to my ankles, and tears started flowing, and then Joe and Noonan's mom came out with bobby pins or, you know, something out of a friggin' to come tie up my shorts so that I could play the game. <laughs> One of my best friends, they started playing lacrosse. Uh, first, I wasn't making fun of them. Of course, I thought, okay, they are playing something like Quidditch, like this Harry Potter sport. It's a good topic for conversation, and I think generally uh, girls like athletes, so I would say it definitely uh, plays to our favor. <laughs> uh, walked in one day, picked up the lacrosse stick, and uh, kind of, it was a natural fit for myself. And so we, uh, we stuck with it for the past uh, 30 years and I've been enjoying it ever since. I started playing lacrosse uh, in Halifax, Nova Scotia, where I'm from, when I was uh, tw 12 years old, in seventh grade. I, I knew right away that that was what I wanted to do with my life. The game brings a lot of joy and a lot of happiness to a lot of people. I'm one of them. <laughs> It gives me an identity. Um, yeah, yeah, lacrosse gives me an identity. It's the most important thing in my life. Abych vám řekla pravdu, tak on když přišel s lacrosem, tak uh, mi to oznáme, že už ho hraje. Prostě, co to je lacros, tak mě to vysvětlil. No a pak nadšeně, že přijedou nějaký Američani, že tady budou hrát lakros. Přišel z lakrosu a měl vykloubený rameno. Tak to bylo seznámení u mě z lakrose. Bylo vidět, že se mu tam strašně moc líbí. Já si Aleše vybavuju, přijel na kole, vím, že to kolo bylo kolo na kolovou, protože Aleš hrál kolovou, uměl tom kole jezdit po zpátku, na zadním. A jednou se vypravil do Svojetic a vzal si sebou tu jeho lakrosku, že tam bude trénovat. Když jel zpátky, tak si přivázal tu lakrosku na rám u kole a vyrazil. Přijel do Radotína, slez z kola, kouká na rámu. Držadlo a síťka nikde. Ne, 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 ale že jsem hrát neviděla. Já jsem prakticky lakros viděla, až když klusí přišli, že teda chtějí udělat ten memoriál. The story that I, that I know is, is pretty well known in, in the Gale community, Green Gales itself. Já mám v hlavě, že to bylo úterý, seděl jsem doma s rodičema v ušáku a volala mi paní Řebeská, že Aleš umřel. Aleš was a player in the radio team. And he um, went home after practice, and he got hit by a car, and died, unfortunately. Šel jsem do Radotína, chodil jsem po tmavým Radotíně. Bylo mi to hrozně líto, plakal jsem, protože asi city člověk by měl projevit. A říkal jsem si, že je potřeba, aby se na to nezapomnělo, abychom udělali něco, co by nám ho připomínalo. Žádali mě, abych jim, jestli jim můžu dát tu jeho lakrosku. A vlastně ten první pohár, co měl být, tak byl udělaný z té jeho lakrosky. A Jirka Pechanu říkal, stejně ho vyhrajeme, ten zůstane tady u nás, my ho někomu nedáme. Hned první jaro jsme uspořádali turnaj, byl to poslední březnový víkend a stala se z něj taková tradice. Come to a place like Radotin here, and in, in, in this particular tournament, um, everybody makes us feel welcome. What Radotin has done is built a, a community around this event, um, which has grown every year, and I think that's the strength. This is my second time, and I, you know, barring major injury or major, you know, consequences, I will be here for sure. 
you know, every other year at the minimum for as long as I can come. It is a really unique event um, that, that isn't, you know, is, is, is completely unparalleled anywhere else in the world. Such a great atmosphere out there that everybody uh, wants to be here, uh, you know, every single time this tournament is being played. So it, it shows a lot of credit to the, the City Rado team and, and how, what you guys do here. Everybody in the town, they know lacrosse and they're happy. I have my 10 year old with me. We're going to get on the trolley to get to the train station to come here. And there's a guy who doesn't look like the nicest of fellas going to be walking by us. And I'm carrying my lacrosse stick. My son's carrying my lacrosse stick. So I get a little closer to my son and keep a closer eye on this guy. As he gets closer, instead of him, he says, oh, good luck today. I'll be there later, you know? <laughs> so little things like that. since 2008 and uh, I would say some of my best lacrosse memories come from this town in this tournament this is my sixth or seventh and uh, yeah it's almost become like a second second home of sorts this is our 11th year for the Dublin Raiders coming everybody's excited about coming back the next year the next year you know what are these guys gonna do what are these uniforms gonna look like who are we gonna get to play you know there's a real sense of anticipation World Championships, uh, you know, your first day playing, winning, a, winning an NLL title, winning, uh, winning a World Championships, winning a European Championships, I, I don't care. This tournament, and this is why anybody who plays lacrosse wants to come here. You know, it's, it's, this tournament is the pinnacle of lacrosse. It's, it is the tournament to come to. Silnější moment, no samozřejmě byl 20. ročník. Rád tím vyhrál, jo, a to bylo tak <laughs> bylo vynikající ten závěr. Ale prakticky, když se to tak vezme, tak se pamatuje skoro každý rok. Tenhle ten dres jsem dostala, myslím, že loni. Je to takový sympatický, hezký, no. Mám vždycky z toho radost, když dres dostanu. Tak jsem si říkal, že se budu muset pořídit na to jednu skříň, aby se mi tam všechny vešly. A letos jsem dostala takovýhle krásný dres s 21. No, tak jsme se divili, proč tam je 21. Přemýšleli jsme nad tím a vlastně nás napadlo, že ta 21 je, že ve 21 zemřel. So when I was 21, I was um, I was actually just starting to play lacrosse. Actually, it was in universe, my first year of university, and uh, yeah, just a student hanging out, drinking beer, playing football. I was playing with a Brooklyn Redmond at the time, and it was uh, my first senior A and only senior A championship that I've ever won. You go out to bars when. In the United States, you have to be 21 years old, so you, you sneak into bars with the older guys, and and uh, the the practice the next morning is pretty rough. Maybe sometimes, like at the tournament, uh, hard games because of too many too many beers. Yeah, I mean, it, it's really kind of remarkable. What you think, you know, here I am, 17 years later, and you know, I'm still playing lacrosse. I still have this opportunity, where you know, we have to remember him. So that's, that's a special year for me. Uh, I remember exactly how it felt and what I was doing at the time, and, and I couldn't imagine uh, passing away like, like Alish did uh, at that time. There's, there's a lot of life left, and, and unfortunately it was taken away too, too early from him. Poprvé jsem mluvila, až byl desátý ročník, to jsem se klepala. <laughs> Strachy, měla jsem takovou hroznou trému. 
A od té doby pak už jako následující rok, tak už jsem to tr- tak trošičku se snažila něco málo povědět. Chci vám říct, že si velice vážím toho, že tu mají neseme mého mého syna. Tak to je všechno. Last year, she was sad. She was crying. This year, she was not crying. She wasn't. I watched. She was not crying. She was smiling. When she looked around and she seen all the people and all the teams, she was very happy. And she spoke this year longer than she ever spoke before. Yeah. Osobně, když tam jedu, tak se opravdu se těším. Cítím se tam moc dobře, ale samozřejmě je mi vždycky i smutno, protože si říkám, je to hezký, ožije, ožije to vlastně, je takový pocit, jako že ten Aleš pořád mezi nima je. When Alex mom is starting the tournament, I truly believe that she is thinking about her son. I watch her face, I am a father, I am a grandfather, I know what it feels like. Moje kamarádky ty se jako divě, říká, jak to tam můžeš vydržet, jak to tam můžeš zvládnout. No tak se říká, no ale prostě člověk musí být trošku takový pevnější, no. When I see her, it makes me think of my mom and my dad. When we won last year, my parents were watching and they're so happy. And I don't see them much, but I talk to them all the time, so to have her still come out every tournament. That's very nice. And when we won, we put our jersey on her and it's just, hopefully she knows, and I think she does, how much we all care, not just about coming and having a good time, but it's, it's family, right? We play for a bigger reason here. Uh, I, I see his mother twice, uh, and, and she's passionate about the sport. And I believe he was as well, both as a fan and a player. Uh, the tragedy, unfortunately, took his, his life a little early, um, but in the long run, he brought a community together uh, who had the same passion as him, and uh, we really enjoy being here. Uh, regardless of what happened, uh, his, his legacy will, will continue to, to grow and uh, you know, just being a part of it is special. I do feel like uh, the people that come to this tournament um, are a big family, very much so. Um, more so than I've experienced anywhere else. If I had, you know, if there was something like this in my honor, then it's almost overwhelming. Like, uh, I don't know, I guess the, uh, excuse me, overwhelming, like, feeling would probably be flat, you know, very flattering, very, very honored. It's unfortunate that, uh, that it took a, such a tragic event to, to, to make all this for us, you know? It's a, a sacrifice, you know, some sacrifice. If Alice could see this tournament now, he must, he, for sure, he's smiling, for sure. You know, this, this tournament is the best lacrosse experience any lacrosse player could ever come to. Alice, if he actually saw this tournament now at this given time, uh, he would definitely be happy, impressed. I think Alice would be one of the best players now and play for the Radochin team, or maybe he would be in the coaching staff. Every time I, I come to this tournament, it's the second time now, there's been nothing but kind words to say about him and about this tournament, and I'm sure he'd be very, very, very pleased through this tournament, it is, it's tragic. But again, that's a legacy that is left behind by the community for him. And it, again, that's, that's very special. I think it's gonna to continue to grow as the years progress. And, and uh, I look forward to it not only being 20 teams or 21 teams, but I'm looking forward to being 30, 40, 50 teams at one point. I think that, that can really happen. And we remember him the way we play and the rem we remember him every time we step on on the field. So I think it's a fantastic thing. Kdyby 
se tady Aleš objevil, kouknul by se z balkonu. No já si myslím, že by musel být nadšený. A určitě by byl rád, tak jak říká jeho maminka, že ten turnaj nese jeho jméno. A troufám si říct, že byl to sportovec, tak možná, že by se i zahrál.